The fact that we constantly feel tired, have bone pain, are depressed, notice or hair falling out, can sleep at night, or experience heart symptoms like chest pain are the most common signs of vitamin D deficiency that almost all of us know. But vitamin D deficiency doesn't always have symptoms this obvious. For example, when our wounds don't heal well, we get sick frequently or become irritable. This can also be signs of vitamin D deficiency. Signs that can be easily resolved with a simple pill or a glass of milk. Let's see what the important and hidden vitamin D deficiency symptoms are. Vitamins are divided in two categories, water soluble and fat soluble. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, which means that when we absorb it from the food we eat, any excess gets stored in our body fat tissues. This stored vitamin D can then be used later on if we happen to become deficient. So we shouldn't become deficient in vitamin D that easily. Right? Actually, that's not the case. If you take a look at the map I've brought here, you will see that many countries are experiencing vitamin D deficiency, especially those marked in red and orange. So, what's the reason behind this? Well, we have different types of vitamin D. For instance, there is vitamin D produced in our skin through exposure to sunlight, which we call vitamin D3. Then, there is vitamin D found in food that we absorb through our diet, generally known as vitamin D2. Ultimately, both of these types are converted into the active form of vitamin D in our bodies. So, when we become deficient in vitamin D, it's likely because we haven't been consuming enough vitamin rich foods and we haven't been getting enough sunlight exposure. Now, depending on how deficient we are, we will start showing certain symptoms. One of the first signs might be part of or teeth breaking off. But why does that happen? Calcium and phosphorus make up a significant part of our teeth enamel. So when we are low on vitamin D, the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from our small intestine decreases. This leads to various effects on our body, one of which is making our teeth more brittle. So if like me, you have had a tooth break while eating, Take it seriously. I will tell you how to fix this at the end of the video. For now, smash the like button so we can move on the next symptoms. The next symptom is sweating, but not just any regular sweating. For instance, if you have heart disease, you might experience cold sweats. Or if you have thyroid issues, your pulse might start to sweat. Vitamin D deficiency has its own unique kind of sweating, where your face and neck begin to perspire. So, what's the reason behind this? Well, when we all low on vitamin D, it affects our sympathetic nerves and causes them to become a bit more stimulated. Now, this slight nerve stimulation causes some of our sweat glands to kick into action. Since we have more sweat glands in face and neck area, you will notice that these parts might start sweating occasionally, especially in younger people. So if you or a child around you is experiencing this kind of sweating, make sure to take it seriously. Overall, our knees are constantly at risk of injury due to the pressure they bear. When we are deficient in vitamin D, we experience reduced calcium absorption and some softening of our bones and cartilage. Plus, vitamin D has anti-inflammatory properties, so lacking it can lead to increased inflammation. The next symptom is a slow healing of our wounds. You know how sometimes we accidentally cut a corner of our finger with a knife. I bet many of you have been there. Generally, this kind of the cause heal with a week to 10 days, depending on how deep they are. But sometimes you will notice that a small wound take a really long time to heal. Like even after a month, it is still not fully recovered. This could be a sign of vitamin D deficiency. All right, so what should we do now? Should we jump straight into taking vitamin D supplements? Well, the answer is no. Just as a deficiency in vitamin D can cause certain symptoms, overconsumption can lead to issues too, since the constipation, which is quite common. So first, we need to make some lifestyle adjustment. This includes getting more exercise and physical activity, and regularly consuming food rich in vitamin D, like mushroom, fish, milk, yogurt, egg, spinach, and almonds. In addition to that, your skin should be exposed to sunlight three to four times a week. Where I live, the weather is cloudy for about nine months of a year, 
and finding sunlight is really tough. But still, on the sunny days we get, I try to make the most of it. Even it's just a bit of sunlight coming through the window at my workplace in the hospital and hitting my face. This cloudy weather means that I can't get enough vitamin D during the winter. As I mentioned before, we get some of our vitamin D from sunlight and some from our diet, which might not be sufficient in the colder months. So given my situation, I take vitamin D supplements, which you can also take weekly under your doctor's supervision. Don't forget to take these symptoms of vitamin D deficiency seriously. Send your question below this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Bye.